on ladies and gentlemen my name is Twigger and I've got another League of Legends video for you this time playing Corky um, in regards to the mid lane and I'm pretty excited to be playing Corky I've seen a lot of uh, Corky mids recently he seems to be a pretty damn strong mid laner so I figured I would give him a shot I have played him quite a bit um, in the mid lane and also as ADC um, the weird thing, though, is that I'm actually going up against a Fiddlesticks. So the middle sticks is what we're going up against. And man, he runs his flash on F and I run mine on D. So you know that this is going to be like an oil and water situation. Like, nobody's coming out of this one alive. Um, I'm kind of scared about the uh, the middle sticks, to be honest. It's I think I'm going to be okay in terms of like farming and things like that. But I think in regards to killing him, I'm probably going to have a little bit of trouble. Because, of course, as Corky kind of progresses in the game, you want to get harassment down. And then when you see the opportunity, you Valkyrie in and then do your damage to try to get the kill. But with Fiddlesticks having his fear, um, every time I Valkyrie in, he can just kind of fear me and then... I don't really get anything from it. <laughs> so, um, I'm not entirely sure how this one's going to go. He also has fantastic poke with that dark wind. Um, so, it's just something I got to deal with. Um, got to just, you know, roll with the punches or roll with the crows, I guess. Try to not get hit by all of them. Okay. Just going to take an auto attack here. I'm kind of okay with that. I just didn't want the minions going into the turret. Oh my goodness. So it still ended up losing a minion, but oh! First blood for the Trindomir. What in the hell was that? I'm totally okay with that. Crap. Come on. No, no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dark Wind is insane. For something that deals so much damage to so many targets. No, I'm going to lose both of these. Like. Deals so much damage to so many targets, it doesn't take any mana. Look at that! He's been spamming it! And he's barely taken any mana out of him! What the hell am I supposed to do against that? This is some otherworldly bullshit. Oh, yeah, that's... What, what a shock. That's gonna bounce to me twice! I don't know about you, Fiddle, but man, am I having fun! Okay, well, that, that's about all she wrote for me, to be honest. Oh god, yes! Amazing! Man, so if he actually... Uh, what the hell are you... Mine! <laughs> what was he thinking? <laughs> So now I have double buff, which is pretty damn great. So the Fiddlesticks, um, I, I think he actually kind of made a mistake there. First of all, he didn't flash early enough. Um, so Elise got the cocoon off. Um, really, really great gank from the Elise. Um, the thing was, the Elise got ignited by the Fiddlesticks. Which, if the Fiddlesticks um, ignited me, I was probably dead. But uh, I think he didn't think that we were going to engage so heavily. So he ignited the Elise, I think, to try to like ward her off. But didn't really ward her off at all. <laughs> we ended up just going even more ham. Um, picking up the kill on that one. And then luckily I Valkyried when I did. Because if I didn't Valkyrie when I did, Warwick Flash and he would have gotten his fear off on me. And I probably would have died. But luckily we got his Flash. And then he continued to dive over top of my Valkyrie damage. So he ended up taking like two turret shots. And then we all we had to do was just Flash and Auto Attack. And boom, there was a second kill for me. So now I've got Double Buff, which... I think is really going to help me in this lane. Um, because not only does Fiddlesticks now not have his flash, um, he doesn't have Ignite, and now I can kind of harass him a little bit with my blue buff and my red buff, which should be quite nice. Not for him, but for me. Crap. Huh. Okay. Uh, crap. All right. We do have a control ward, and we are going to learn from all of our other mistakes, and we're going to put this thing down right now. There we go. Nice and early control ward. Gives us vision of when the Warwick comes in. Come on. Yes! Oh my god, that was so close. 
I knew I had enough damage once I got my Q off, but my god, that fiddlestick drain is always so scary to deal with. Um, I wish I knew where the Warwick was, but I don't, so I definitely have to be like, I want to stay and clear out that wave um, while the fiddle's not there. But the problem is, with Warwick not being there, I'm way too scared to stick around. Because he might very well be level 6. <laughs> and we all know what Warwick does level 6. You know, he, he, he kind of fucks your face, to be honest. So, I'm going to run away from that one. And I think that's just me kind of maturing as a player. I find that I always tend to stay. I get a little bit greedy and I go for more farm. Where there's really no point in me doing that at all. Gotta kill onto the fiddlesticks. Should just be happy with the fact that he's losing farm. Um, I don't need to gain any more than I already have. Um, getting some nice little... Nice little poke on him. Okay. So I feel like I want to just kind of continuously go aggressive on this guy. Might be able to chase this guy down. Oof, look at that damage. Okay, so definitely have to run away from this one, but luckily... Oh my god, the bait was too good! Too good! So that ended up just being like the perfect bait. At least was right there, lands the cocoon, and that is just one dead Warwick. I don't think that you thought this through. <laughs> so he was trying to be right in range, and I could just throw a missile out. Doesn't really phase me all that much. What are you doing? <laughs> go, go be further. <laughs> I'm not complaining, but now I just feel like you're not thinking this through. Okay. Wow, he's actually, he's staying. That is unique. Okay, so it looks like he's just going to try to farm these bad boys up. Okay, don't want to stay too long. Of course, because the Warwick is now back alive. And that means that I could very well die. Um, not entirely sure, though, where the... F okay, actually, there he is. wonder if I can find him. Are you still being? Nope, he finally left. Okay, so let's just push up this last wave. This is a little bit greedy, but I don't think it's nearly as greedy as people might think. Huh. So let's just take this bad boy out, because now that the Warwick's dead, I don't really have much to fear. Yeah, fear. Get it? Because the fiddle six, he fears you. <laughs> yeah, much to fear. Because <laughs> he's B. But, oh, whatever. So four, zero, and zero. Currently 10 to zero, the current score. So we are feeling very confident in how our team is doing. Um... I am going to go for this. I just wanted to get the Negatron Cloak just because I didn't like the Dark Wind damage that was happening. Um, do I want to grab this now? Yeah, I do want to grab this now. Let's let's do this. I feel like I have enough to take down this Fiddlesticks. Because um, he's not really going to ulti me while he's being engaged on. But, you know, I should maybe take this over to the top lane. I don't know. I've got the package, so I think I should just dive this guy, right? Come on, where is he? Man, super easy kill. So that's all you had to do, really, is just... Package right over top, get the Darius underneath that one, and then just allow the Trindomir to get the kill. Like, once I was running away, I gotta let Trindomir tank the uh, the turret um, just at the end there, because he has his ultimate, right? So, even if he gets apprehended by the Darius, it doesn't really matter all that much, because all he has to do is pop his ulti and he's gonna be A-OK. -okay. And that's all she wrote. So I did have to Valkyrie away from that Warwick because he did actually hurt a lot. Um, but fortunately enough, he kind of ran away. All I had to do was flash and use my Phosphorus Bomb. And that is one dead dog. Not that I want to see a dead dog. That's really, really sad and I don't appreciate it. 
But, you know, this this dog is a little bit of a dick. He's a wily one. It's kind of like watching Wily e. Coyote. Think of it that way. I'm the anvil that dropped on Wily e. Coyote's head. Or I'm the acme box of explosives that blew up in his face. But right now, we're sitting at 5, 0, and 2. Um, we don't really have a lot of CS. Um, oh, God. Trying to reconnect. My God, I'm at 946. 1,000, 3,800. Oh, internet. Come on. Figure yourself out, buddy. You've got this. You've got this. Come on now. Well, might have a couple technical difficulties here, folks, but we, we, we're gonna, we're gonna bring it back. We're gonna bring it back. Okay, I think we're all back and good to go. That was definitely a little bit awkward. It still isn't perfect, you know? Okay, there we go. Now we're back down to like 88. That's a little bit more normal. For some reason, my internet has been having these, uh, Kind of connection issues where I end up, like, spiking really heavily. Ow. Okay. Let's get a ward down over on this side just because I don't trust this Warwick. Um, but to be honest, I feel like I'm going to get a pretty early... Okay, I'm going to stand by this wall just in case. Okay, Fiddlesticks is there. Um, I think I'm going to get a pretty early Mercurial Scimitar or at least a Quicksilver Sash. Um... Okay, <laughs> that didn't really take a whole hell of a lot. Okay, let's kill this, throw that, kill those. Um, you know what? I am low on HP, and I'm not going to be greedy. So I am just going to be. I do have my Valkyrie just in case the Warwick pops out of buttfuck nowhere. But I think I should be okay. There we go. Okay, so do we have enough to buy much of anything? Not really. Um, we almost have enough for that Stinger. Do we have enough for the Quicksilver Sash? There we go. Okay, we have that. So this is something that I really do want to buy early. Um, there are a couple reasons for that. The first being um, the Warwick Ultimate, which I'm not entirely sure if I can actually... Ruse all crowd control debuffs. So I'm pretty sure that I can cleanse the Warwick Ultimate off myself. But the second one is also just the Fiddlesticks Fear. Um, because as you guys can tell, like I'm doing well in terms of killing him, but it's coming very, very close, right? It's certainly not like a guaranteed kill by any stretch of the imagination. It should be a lot cleaner than that, considering how fed I am compared to how not fed he is. Um, but it's not, and that's mainly because of his fear. Um, all he has to do is really fear me, and um, then I can't get any more damage onto him. Ooh. Do you really want to do this? Oh, we found a fiddle. Okay. So unfortunately, the Elise had to flash. Th oh god. <laughs> Boom. Take that one. So Fiddle ulted, but Elise got away. So that's at least, you know, that's that's fortunate. Oh, Twigger really doesn't want to be here anymore. I'm going to get ulted. I'm going to get ulted. I'm gonna- Oh! Unless I kill him first! Get out of here, son! Oh my goodness! Man, that was good. <laughs> um, he was mid. So, yeah, fortunately, I think the only thing that you can really do against a Darius um, when he's coming at you like that, it's either he kills you with his ulti, um, or I manage to uh, kill him first. So... Fortunately enough, I just turned around, I got my Foster's Bomb and also my uh, Sheen proc with a rocket off, and that was enough to uh, secure that kill. So that was another double kill for me. Like, 8, 0, and 2. Woo! Baby! I am feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. Um, so it's kind of unfortunate, to be honest. It's just, it's kind of a little bit of a raffle stomp game. Um, but to be honest, I feel like we've actually played this really, really well. Like, I think just our decision making and um, also just our fights have gone really, really well for me. And I feel like I'm playing it decently. Feel good. And it's actually been close fights. Like, I feel bad for this Fiddlesticks because I've kind of been able to snowball my lead really well. But um, he was so close on so many occasions um, to completely evening this thing out. And getting a kill on me and getting a pretty big shutdown. So, fortunately for me, he wasn't able to get those. 
But now we gotta figure out, like, so what do we want to look at now? We didn't get to use the package. How long do we have with this one? Yeah, we've got a couple seconds left. Oh, I totally used it the wrong way. <laughs> I accidentally clicked my minimap the wrong way, and I just ended up going down. That was really stupid of me. Okay, so Fiddlesticks might very well jump over here. Oh yeah, there he is. There we go. Nice and easy kill. Um, looks like we might try to get a... We could probably just dive this. Oh, and there it is! My word! Did somebody call for some burst damage? Because that is what I am here for. Oh my goodness gracious me. Okay, so we're 10, 0, and 3. Feeling pretty confident, I gotta be honest. I, I feel like I've, I've done well for my team. Um, but we can now pick up the Trinity Force. Um, I think I'm going to look for an Infinity Edge next. Um, just because I've seen that build a few times. You know, you go Infinity Edge, or you know what, maybe just a BF Sword first. But yeah, you get like an Infinity Edge and then a Rapid Fire Cannon. Um, and then something like a Last Whisper. Um, tends to do pretty well. At least that's the build that I looked up. That's the build that I want to go with. But to be honest, I don't even know if I'm going to have time to go that build because I don't think that this game is going to last more than another three minutes um, because these guys are losing pretty darn hard. Uh, got it. Easy game, easy life. Let's take this Scuttle Crab just because it's more money. And then I'm probably going to go B... Just to uh, grab my BF sword. Even that extra little bit of damage. I think it's going to be a decent purchase. Um, but our burst potential is actually insane. Like, we saw what we did to that Jin. It was just dirty. Like, I, I feel like I have to go and take a shower after something like that. Because I do feel dirty about that. But, you know, his fall for approaching me. You saw he stepped up on me. I didn't want to fight him. Well, I did. I wanted to kill him. But, to be honest, I... At least got the cocoon, and then I had to go in. That's just... It's kind of like, you know, the Lee Syndrome when he lands a Q, then he has to go in. If an Elise lands a cocoon, then I've, I've got to. It's just... It beckons me. Okay. So, Fiddlesticks is right there. We could just go ham on him. Ow. Dick! Woo! Swigger wants more kills. Damn it! Didn't get it. Ugh. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not doing that. I'm not crazy. Ah! Oh, damn it! I finally got shut down. I didn't even freaking use my uh, my quicksilver sash, which was very stupid of me. I could have used my quicksilver sash, and then I could have jumped over this wall with my Valkyrie. Definitely would have been a good player's move. Unfortunately, I'm just not one of those. <laughs> Which does kind of suck. I definitely misplayed that. I think it's just when I start getting a lot of kills, um, I, I feel like I'm kind of like most players in this regard, but you tend to get a little bit cocky um, and you feel like you could take on the entire team. And I feel like after I took down the Fiddle Six and the Darius that first time, I thought to myself, ah, you know what? This is even easier than a Fiddle Six Darius because it's a Sona Darius. What do I possibly have to worry about? You know what I have to worry about? The fact that it's a goddamn Darius with a black cleaver who can still kick my ass when he needs to. Um, unfortunately, he is one and eight, so he got really shut down. But, um,. I think still 11 and 1. They did get a pretty big shutdown for me. That was a 450 gold shutdown. So, must be feeling pretty good about that one. You bet you feel good about yourself, huh, Darius? Oh, I'm gonna wipe that smile off your face. Oh, God, never mind. No, I'm not. There you go. Got my assist. No! Uh-oh. Come on. Come on. Huh. Yay! Oh, God. 
We we notice in this? There we go! <laughs> Triple kill for the Trindomir! Nice and easy. All we had to do is act like a sick or wounded animal, and we baited Fiddlesticks right in. Um, we do have a package available, but that is going to be GG well played. Looks like the Warwick actually didn't rage quit. He was still there, so definitely going to be reporting that Warwick. Sadly, he just kind of gave up on the game, but overall, really good game playing Corky mid against the middle sticks. Thank you all so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing this video with your friends if you enjoyed it. But most importantly, thank you so much for watching. My name is Twigger, and I will see you all in the next video.